In this video, we're going to cover how to use the Surface Text tool in Onshape and specifically how to add text to an arc or a curved surface. So on the screen now, you'll see that I have a part um, that has several bits of uh, curved text on here. And basically all this is, this is just a little like a thank you challenge coin uh, that we made for my kids swim team um, after a fundraiser that we had. So let me show you how I did. Um, first, I'll start by making the actual coin itself and then we'll put some curved uh, text in there just to show you exactly how I did this. So let me go over to my other tab here for the blank uh, on shape screen. And the first thing I want to do, as always, is make sure that my workspace units are correct. So I'm going to switch from inch to millimeter. And the first thing I need to do is, is I'm just going to make the basic shape uh, of a coin. So to do that, I'm going to start a sketch on my top plane, hit N on my keyboard to go to normal two. And just going to start with a simple circle on my origin. And we'll make this, oh, 50 millimeters. And let's extrude this. Let's go three millimeters. Okay, so let's add a little more depth to our coin, just so we have a little more of an example to show here. So I'm going to create another sketch on this top surface. Again, go normal two, create another circle. And I'll make this one a diameter of 48 millimeters. And I'm going to cut into my part this time. So let's extrude, remove it. I'm assuming that everyone knows how to do the extrudes and cuts by now. So I'm going to cut one millimeter in. All right. So now you see I have like a little, little ridge, kind of like the inside of a coin or a quarter, something of that nature. All right. So let's start adding some text. So the first thing that we need to do is I'm just go normal to my plane here. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a, a path for our text to follow. And since I want my text to be on a curve, I'm going to start with a circle. So again, I'm going to start with another sketch and I'm going to use the inside of my cut surface as my sketch plane. And I need to get in a better habit of naming my sketches, but it seems like whenever I do text, I always seem to name it. So I'm going to call this uh, top text. And I'm going to create a circle as a construction line. So first I'm going to hit the circle command then I'm going to hit Q on my keyboard, which will turn it from a solid line to a construction line and make a circle. And let's make this 40 millimeters. And now I don't want my text to follow a complete circle, right? I just want it to follow an arc. So I'm just going to take a line and I'm going to cut this circle into an arc. Now, I guess I could have used the arc tool. That would have probably been a lot, a lot easier, a few, a few, uh, less button clicks, but there's more, more than one way to do this operation. So you could do a circle, you could do an arc, whatever you want to do, uh, to get to an arc shape. All right. So after you get that arc in there, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, okay my sketch. So now what I want to do is I want to go up to the top right of my screen and I have the surface text tool already loaded. Now, if this is your first time using surface text, there's actually a lot of tools and features um, that you can load into Onshape from the Onshape community. So in case you don't have this in there, it's really easy to add in. All you have to do is click on this little plus mark here and type in surface text. Give it a search. And I selected the first one or the, the first you know, bolded one here. And that's what I loaded in just fine. So all you have to do is click on that and load it in and it'll stay in your Onshape um, account for as long as you want it to. So once you have that loaded in, simply click on surface text. And I have to tell it some basic information. The first thing that it's going to ask you for is the baseline or what line you want your text to follow. So with that, I know that I want it to follow a curve. So I'm going to click on my, uh, my curved tech or my curved line here that I just created. And now it's going to ask me what surface I want it to build on. So for my base surface, I want it to be on the inside cut surface of the coin. So I'm just going to click right on the coin face here. And it pre-populates some text for me, right? It looks a little goofy and we'll, we'll go over that and then we'll change that uh, step by step. So the first thing is we have to make sure that we have the alignment that we want. So there's several different types of alignment we can have. So there's the fit alignment. So for example, what the fit alignment does is it's going to fit my text to both endpoints of my arc. All right, if, the, if my arc went down further, it would stretch the text out even further. So whatever line that you select as your baseline, it's gonna fit your text to fit that line. 
You can also justify it to the left, justify it to the center, justify it to the right, just like you would normally with like, you know, a word program or a word processing program, you can justify it however you want. For this example, I'm gonna leave it on fit. So then going down, we could change our text. So this says change me. So right, I'm gonna just rename this to, let's see. So top text on curved line. And hit enter and we can see a live preview of that but now you notice that it's going backwards right I don't want it to read like that so just like if, if we had to change an extrude or change a cut or uh, you know anything in on shape um, and there's this little arrow here you could change the direction so if I click on that now you see that everything got you know to a point where we can actually read it all right now you could also change the font there's some preloaded fonts in here I'll just leave it on open sans for now the text depth this is our actual extrude. And so if I kind of mouse over, you'll see that it's way far out of the coin. That would make sense. We wouldn't want to do that on a coin. I know that my cut depth is one millimeter. So I'm going to go ahead and change my, te my text depth to one millimeter as well. That looks a little more realistic. Back to my top view here. So there's a couple other things that we can do with our text. So right now, I'm pretty happy with the way this looks. Right, My, my text is sitting on the line, um, just like I wanted it to. It, it fits in between the, the ridge of the coin. But let's say that I wanted this line to be my center line, right? not my bottom line. So you can do that with your vertical alignment. So right here, it's set for bottom extents, which means that the bottom of my text is going to sit right on the line. But let's say I wanted all this to be centered. So I could switch my bottom line to middle alignment. And now it brings my text to the middle of, of my curved line. And the same thing, I could bring it, say I want it to be on the top of my text. I can go to top extent. And it brings it in like that. So whatever, however you're, you're modeling, however um, you are, you, you need to lay things out, that's completely up to you, right? So I'm just gonna curve again, show that it's still, in fact, still extruded out. And once I'm happy, with everything here and if you had large letters you could fill out some of the letters but um, this is a pretty small part so i'm not going to do that here i'm just going to click on the green check mark and you'll see that i now have my text on my coin but you're also going to notice if i go down to my part list down here you'll see that every single uh, letter is its own part now it's really not efficient especially when we get into larger models so i want to try to keep things uh, a little more simple so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the boolean operation to make all these uh, letters come into one cohesive coin, all right? So to do that, I'm gonna go up to my toolbar, to the Boolean operation, click on that. And then I'm simply gonna click on part one, scroll down to my tree here, hold the shift button, hit on my last part, and add them all together. You'll see now I have one part. That's a cool little coin. Now all I did, if I go back to my first example, is I just did this process with a with an array of arcs, right? So I did one arc for the top text, another one for the middle text here, another one for the bottom text here, and I even used the same the same tool, the same surface text tool for the uh, the date and for the abbreviation. Instead of putting the the text on an arc, I simply just put it on a line. So that's how to use the surface text tool. Again, if you can't find it. Uh, the important thing is make sure that you search your tools and I highly encourage you to uh, check out some of the uh, forums and some of the users uh, tools that have that people have made. There's a lot of great handy tools in there.